We got the Dolphins getting ready for the game tomorrow against the Bengals. And while there is no Tua, there is a lot to look forward to, folks. Believe it or not. And listen, I know that most of us don't give a rat's ass about other teams in the preseason that that because we're Dolphin fans. And this game may not have a lot of meaning because of the Tua deal, but it has a lot of meaning for the offensive line. While they'll rest Jesse Davis, the exciting part is that Greg Little's going to get a lot of playing time. Eichenberg will get playing time. And then, obviously, more playing time for the current guys like Austin Jackson and Robert Hunt and Solomon Kinley and Michael Dieter. So it's really, really good to watch those guys. And, I, and that's part of the reason why I'm looking forward to that game tomorrow because the offensive linemen are going to get another turn and 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 they're going to get their Cincinnati starters playing early on. Even Joe Burrow is going to play a little bit. I mean, hell, Patrick Mahomes played yesterday. He hadn't played so well in the first two games, and they were like, well, he needs to – Andy Reid had to play him so he could fine-tune. I think he was like eight of nine and a couple touchdowns. He was – he was Patrick Mahomes yesterday. It was uh, it was funny to watch. But for the Dolphins, watching not just the starting linemen, but watching some of these backups, I'm excited about Greg Little. This is a guy that's got a ton of talent, and he really didn't get a fair shake in Carolina. Maybe there's something there. And that's the beauty of what these guys will do. They'll continue to unearth talent, and they'll continue to find and mine you know, that's what it is. They're mining for talent. One's going to work. This one's not going to work. This one's not going to work. This one works. This one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. This one works. That's just the way it is. You're going to try sometimes, and you're going to fail. And then you're going to hit on some guys. And when you do, they become key contributors for you. You get them cheap, right? And again, you don't have to spend a draft pick on some of these guys to help you out. It's really important. So they're going to have several guys on the line to play. Uh, I don't know if Jared Dokes will play or not, but that's a kid that I want to see more. See, I like Patrick Laird, but I know what Patrick Laird is already. Can you do better? That's the way I look at it with Patrick Laird. While I like him, and I think he's a terrific pass catcher out of the backfield, I don't have a lot of respect for him as a running back. I think he's a jag as a running back overall. So that's the that's a position you want to try to improve. But you've got to get a multifaceted player there. You've got to get a player that can help you out on special teams and also be his, you know, the, the position that he plays. That's the key thing here. That's kind of the the trick. That's that's why Albert Wilson has been a subject here because he doesn't help you out on special teams. They use him nowhere on special teams. So if he's not one of your top four starters, then what's he doing? You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of what it's been, that the back end, if you're going to be a corner on the back end of the roster, if you're going to be a linebacker at the back end of the roster, if you're going to be a receiver at the back end of the roster, you must be multifaceted. You must help out somewhere else. And if you don't help out somewhere else, that's a problem, ladies and gentlemen. And, and so we look at tomorrow – the final wide receiver spots, I don't even know if they're up in the air, but like a Kirk Merritt, like Alan mentioned, I like what I've seen from Kirk Merritt. I think a lot of you Dolphin fans, too, like what you've seen from Kirk Merritt. He's actually had a good camp. I'm afraid of this is the kind of guy that maybe you could stash and hide, or do you keep him on the back end of the roster? Do you showcase him tomorrow? Do you showcase Jared Dokes? Or do you play Jared Dokes because you have so much doubt in him that maybe he's not even worth a practice squad spot? Maybe you've got a better idea of another guy you can use for that practice squad spot. So maybe that's why if you see Jared Dokes playing a lot tomorrow, it's because they're really down on Jared Dokes. If you don't see Kirk Merritt playing tomorrow, I can tell you it's because they're trying to they're going to try to stash Kirk Merritt on 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 the practice squad if they don't put them on the active squad. So there are things to watch Jalen Phillips. I mean, he needs the playing time, big time. And, and remember, he's a rookie. He's going to struggle. 
I doubt he's strong enough to do what he needs to do at this level right now, like most rookies. Very few rookies physically are already set to kind of, like Greg Rousseau, you could tell, because Greg Rousseau is a mountain of a man, and he could just move human beings. So you knew strength wasn't going to be a problem for Rousseau at the next level. It was going to be more about the technique and those kind of things. He's going to have to sharpen that up. And so far, it's worked out for him. He's got two sacks. Now, Jalen Phillips has had his injuries. He's got to he's got to get healthy first so he can figure things out and get out on the field. We need him out there tomorrow to watch him. Uh, Hunter Long. Hunter made a nice catch uh, yesterday in practice. Uh, let's let's hope that Hunter can build on that. And, and watching him run down the sidelines with that brace, that was actually impressive that he still had plenty of movement with that brace. Hunter is a guy that we want to see. Iggy, Igbenogamy. Come on, man. Igbenogamy has got to play the whole game, right? Because you're not playing X, and you're not playing Byron Jones tomorrow. There's no reason I would play those guys. Uh, let me tell you something. I may not even play Javon Holland tomorrow. I've seen enough from him that I'm like, you know what, dude? You're not you don't you're not gonna prove any more in the preseason. You need regular season reps. You need to, you know, go through your ups and downs in the regular season so you can learn at that level. But right now, I've seen enough in the preseason with him. But there are things to watch in this game for us hardcore. Dolphin fans. And that these are some of the things that I'm going to be looking forward to. If there's something you're looking forward to, send it in at big O radio show at yahoo.com. That's big O radio show at yahoo.com. Remember, whenever you're listening to the podcast, send me an email if you want on a question, a complaint, a comment, an insult, a compliment, whatever you want to do. It's all right with me. Send it in at big O radio show at yahoo.com. And don't be surprised. I do answer. Uh, I do interact, okay? Uh, don't forget Twitter, Big O Show. Um, let's see. Oh, Cash App and Venmo. Support us there. Help us grow. Make a donation. Cash Big O Show is the address. Cash Big O Show on Cash App or Venmo if you want to reach out to us. 